i hope you were able to do the chapters that were assigned to you so far today i'm going to start with chapter 2 work power energy a part of it you have done the b part before different forms of energy but you had not done a part so i'm going to do the a part today right so work power energy so these are familiar terms you have studied in lower classes but let's study them in detail okay when is work said to be done when force is applied on a body and the body moves through some displacement okay work is said to be done when force is applied on a body and the body undergoes some displacement in the direction of force so it's very important that this displacement should be in the direction of force okay now if force is applied and displacement is not there then no work is done a simple example suppose you are trying to push a wall you are applying as much force as you can but the wall is not going to move are you doing any useful work no you are not doing any useful work because there is no displacement right so this is the definition for work done now we go to the next topic that is now in this case the important condition is displacement should be in the direction of force for example if i apply a force on a body like a body a and the body is moving through a dis undergoing a displacement s and reaching this new position b then work done will be f into s okay force is applied and displacement is taking place in the direction of force now not always displacement has to be in the direction of force now there can be a case where you apply force in this direction but the body is moving in some other direction you are applying force in this direction but body is undergoing a displacement in some other direction now in this case i can't just use f into s because displacement is not in the direction of force now what to do in this case we are going to drop a perpendicular here and draw a line here so it forms a right angle triangle let us assume that this body is moving at an angle theta with the reference line and uh, so let's mark it as a b and c now according to the formula work done will be f into ac okay this is the displacement in the direction of force but what we know is ab that is s ab is known as s ac we don't know so how to find ac i'm sure you all know about the trigonometric ratio cos theta what is cos theta cos theta is adjacent upon hypotenuse yeah cos theta instead of adjacent i think you all are familiar with base upon hypotenuse let's take this formula okay so cos theta according to this triangle base is ac upon hypotenuse is ab so ac upon ab we need to find ac so ac will become ab cos theta now what is ab ab is equal to displacement s s cos theta now a formula let's go back to the formula work done f into ac in place of ac we are going to put s cos theta now this gives the general formula for work done that is f into s into cos theta force multiplied by displacement multiplied by cos of the angle between the reference and the displacement i hope you have understood till this i'll repeat it once again 
Now there are cases when force will be applied in one direction but displacement can happen in another direction. Now in this case my displacement in the direction of force is AC but I know only AB that is the displacement. AC I have to find. So what I have to do I am going to use this trigonometric ratio cos theta which is based upon hypotenuse. Now cos theta AC upon AB. From this I get AC is equal to AB cos theta. AB is S, S cos theta. So in place of AC I write S cos theta. So I get this formula for work done. F into S into cos theta. Now this is considered to be the general formula and this will become a special case. Now I want to show something in the book. Now in the book for this derivation two methods are given. But it's enough if you study only one method. Please strike off this method. Okay. And at the end of it, talks about factors affecting work done. Or what are the factors on which work done depends on. One is magnitude of force, magnitude of displacement and angle between force and displacement. That's from the formula. Okay, now we go to the next topic that is called special cases. Now we have three special cases. First case, now theta can have any value. Okay, we are going to consider three cases as special case. First case, theta is zero. Okay, theta is zero means displacement. If theta is zero, the displacement is in the direction of force. That is the first case basically. Okay. So according to this formula what will happen? Work done is F into S into cos 0. You all know cos 0. You all know cos 0 is 1. The value of cos 0 is 1. Therefore work done will reduce to F into S since cos 0 is equal to 1. So you get back the basic formula WD is equal to F into S in case when theta is 0 that is displacement is in the direction of force. Right? Now this kind of work is called positive work done. This is called positive work done. Okay? Now we have to see some examples. First case a body falling freely under gravity. Suppose imagine this is a ball which is falling from height A to height B. Okay, it's reaching here. Now it's fallen through a height H. Now, as you all know, force of gravity is pulling it in the downward direction and its displacement also has been in the downward direction. Okay, so in this case, my work done will be F into S. This is an example of positive work done. Work done by a force of gravity on a free falling body. Second example, suppose imagine a coolie is walking with a heavy load on his head. Okay, Now he would have lifted this load from the ground to his head. Now while he was lifting this up, he was applying force in this direction and the load is also moving in this direction. Okay, Force is in this direction and displacement is also in this direction. So in this case also work done is positive. Okay, Coolie lifting a load on his head. Lifting a load onto his head. Now let's go to the second case, case 2. Now in this case, let theta be 90 degree. In the sense, force is applied in one direction, but displacement is at right angles to the direction of force. Okay, this is our second case. Now, if you put it in the formula, W work done is equal to F S. Yeah, it will be better to start with an example. Okay, let's take a coolie who is carrying a load is walking 
on the ground in this direction. Okay, a coolie carrying a load is walking on the ground in this direction. So his displacement is in this direction. Now, force of gravity is trying to pull him in this direction. So what is the angle between force and displacement? 90 degree. So, so this is how, this is the case when displacement is at right angles to the force of gravity. So what will happen in this formula F into S cos 90's value is 0. So this formula, the value of work done will become 0. This case is called 0 work done. Case in which work done is 0. Okay. So this is one of the example. A coolie carrying a load is walking on the horizontal surface is doing no work against gravity. Now remember in case 1 also we had the same example but in that case Cooley was lifting a load from ground. Okay, So in that case displacement while doing that displacement and force were in the same direction. So it was positive work. In this case with respect to force of gravity he will be doing zero work. Yes. We go to the second example. Suppose consider a body moving in a circular path. Okay, body moving in a circular path. Now, okay, at this point, any at any point, if I have to find the, there will be centripetal force that is acting towards the center and displacement at any point is along the tangent. You all know this, right? So centripetal force is acting towards the center and displacement will be in the direction of tangent drawn at that point. Now the angle between this being a radius and this is being this being a tangent, the angle between them will also be 90 degree. So in this case also you will have zero work done. Now we go to case 3. Theta is equal to 180 degree. Right? So according to the formula work done will be Fs cos 180 degree. Do you know the value of cos 180 degree? It is minus 1. So it will become minus F into S. So this case is called negative work done. This case is called negative work done. Okay, let's see some examples, then you will understand it better. Now the same case, a coolie or a man carrying, walking on a horizontal road, walking on a road with a load on his head. Now there is another force that is acting against him, that's the frictional force in this direction. So frictional force will always B in a he is moving in this direction, so displacement is in this direction, but frictional force will be always acting in the opposite direction. So, what is the angle between them? 180 degree. Now, this is the best example for this case when theta is 180. So, in this case, we will get work done as minus F into S. Right now, the same example. If it was asked what will be the work done by the man against force of gravity, you will say zero work done. But there is another force that is frictional force and against that work force he will be doing a negative work. Be very careful to understand the question against which force have they asked. Okay. Now the second example could be when I am throwing a ball up, when I am throwing a ball up in this direction through a height h. Okay, So, now force of gravity is in this direction and displacement is in this direction. So, this is also an example for negative work. F into, minus F into S. So, these are the two examples. Once again, I would like to repeat. Now, this Coolie carrying a load, walking on his head, he can do all the three work. Okay. Now, when he is lifting the load, 
he was doing positive work now there are two forces acting one is gravitational force the one is frictional force and he is moving in this direction now against gravitational force angle is 90 degree so he'll be doing zero work but against frictional force the angle is 180 degree and therefore he'll be doing negative work in page 22 you can cut off this part that is not in the syllabus all the examples are given before that okay so this and this you can just strike it off let's go to the next topic work done by the force of gravity now work done we know force of gravity is always in downward direction angle is zero so at work done is f into s and you know f is equal to m into g force of gravity f is m into g so you get this formula work done by force of gravity is m into g into h then work done by the force of gravity is same whether the body comes down from a certain height using a stairs or a slope or a lift the last topic for today is units of work done as you all know si unit of work done is joule and then definition of 1 joule work done is force into displacement work done will be 1 joule when force is 1 newton and displacement is 1 meter now if you have to write in words 1 joule of work is said to be done when a force of 1 newton displaces a body through a distance of 1 meter in its own direction and there are bigger units like kilojoule mega kilojoule mega joule and giga joule okay now we go to the cgs unit cgs unit of work done is erg okay so one erg will be 1 dyne into 1 cm because in cgs system force is measured in dyne displacement in cm so based on that you get this definition now the very important thing is relationship between joule and erg last year you had relationship between newton and dyne that is units of force now this is relationship between unit of work done that is joule and erg i will solve that for you now let's start with the bigger un si unit that is joule now 1 joule is equal to according to the formula like f into s that is 1 newton into 1 meter now you know that 1 newton is equal to 10 pa 5 dyne this you had last year multiplied by 1 meter is equal to 100 cm okay so when i combine these two 10 pa 5 this is 1 10 pa 2 it will become 10 pa 7 dyne cm which is nothing but dyne cm is erg so this gives us this conclusion that 1 joule is 10 pa 7 erg okay.